All right, NT8 on the porch. We are going to do a video response to the gentleman biker. Um, he put up a real short video today about winter gloves and how his failed. So I told him, dude, I got you covered. I'll show you what I do. Um, these are Under Armour gloves. And if you look, notice how high that's going to go up on my hand. It's going to go clear up in here. So this is an underliner glove. Okay. Now this year I rode down to minus 28C, minus 15C for, for us over here in the States. But I highly recommend these long rise gloves because the warmer you can keep it up here, the more blood's going to get down there. And I'm going to go out and shoot it on the bike. And then I have these that are ice armor. Okay, the ice armor gloves are good down to, oh, minus, minus five Fahrenheit. You're going to have to deal with it because you're going to have to Google it. These will work down to minus five for good distances, but then I've got I've got that on there, and it's got the wiper so I can clean off my uh, face shield, clean off my nose. These are ice fishing gloves, but then when I go when I want to go way below zero, I have the ice armor mittens and yeah you'll hear a lot of people say you can't ride in mittens yeah you can but there's the mitten notice it goes over the coat so there's no envelope for air to get up in side your coat cool off your forearm which cools off the blood before it gets to your hands It's all about layers. You have to have layers. This creates its own layer, and as you can see here, it's got grip. So it grips the inside of the mitten for this, so your hand's not slipping around, sliding around inside the gloves or the mittens. Works really good. And now we're gonna go out to the bike. And I'm going to show you my setup out there. All right, now I'm going to put the mitten on just because it's uh, easier to put on than the glove. But I've got these hand guards on here, and I extended them to go further out down below and further up atop. And I also have heated grips. I'll be the first to admit that. And one of his questions was, well, the heat of grips keep your hand warm down here, but what about the top? I'm gonna cover that. Just by the sheer um, situation that it keeps the wind off your hand off your mitten or your glove that will keep it warmer and then the heat generates up out of the hand grip and into your palm and then 
heat radiates so it's always rising to the top. Now the big issue is your front fingers. Always touching that cold aluminum shifter and brake, which I, I don't use the front brake in the winter time anyway. So if your hand's extended out onto there, you have to keep constantly moving it to get it back on the heated grip. The other good thing about these ice armor gloves is they have a little pocket in the top side that you can put a hot pocket in that will keep your fingers a little bit warmer. Doesn't really work that well, but it does help. But it's all about layers. Now, you got all these layers on and you got this heated grip, it makes it a little tough to get that heat from the heated grip through two or three layers and then it's got to radiate up. So you really have to do a lot of gripping. That's what I'm saying. Don't ride with your hand on the... Uh, don't ride with, with your hand covering the shifter. It's just a different world. That's all it is. But it, it, it works for me. Um, I can't give you exact distances on how long I'm good for. I mean, your hands are going to get cold. Your toes are going to get colder. But other than my grips, I don't have any heated gear. So that's that. But that's how that's how I do it. Um, don't throw away those gloves because there's really nothing wrong with them. You just need a pair of uh, thicker mittens or thicker gloves and some hand guards to keep the wind off your hands. But yeah, if you ride a sport bike, that's probably not a real good option. But if you want to ride in the cold, get off the sport bike during that type of time of year because you got to deal with what you're able to deal with. But yeah, I can do my blinkers, I can do my horn, I can do my mirrors, I can do my ABS, same thing over there, the starter, all that. So don't, riding in the cold, everything is just plain ass harder because you got all this gear on so your movements are not, oh yeah, I can do this, I can move here and there and all that. Doesn't work that way. Because the more layers you put on, the harder it is to move around. So. All right, gentlemen, hope that helped you. And we'll talk to you later.